Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2024 Jaguar F-Type R75 convertible. For those of you who don't know, this is the last model year for the F-Type, and Jaguar is going out with a bang celebrating 75 years of Jaguar sports cars. This is a very special car, and I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to bring this video to you guys. I'll also have an in-depth exhaust video coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. As always, there's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The F-Type, first launched for the 2014 model year, is born from a rich bloodline of Jaguar sports cars spanning the last 75 years. The powerful proportions of the front engine two-seater with its body structure sculpted from light, stiff aluminum are instantly recognizable, and the focused and assertive presence references the flowing forms from Jaguar's rich heritage, which began with the XK120 launched in 1948 as the world's fastest production car. In coupe or convertible form, the F-Type offers a perfect balance of visceral performance and driver reward, with a muscular, assertive design and a cabin defined by luxurious materials, exacting craftsmanship and exquisite details. 2024 marks the final model year of the F-Type, and celebrates 75 years of the Jaguar sports car, with a 75 edition offered on the all-wheel drive models. Earlier F-Types were offered with several powertrains to choose from, but following the 2022 model year, Jaguar decided to focus exclusively on supercharged V8 power. The most powerful variant has 575 horsepower, while the other two models boast a still impressive 444 horsepower. The 2024 models are a fitting celebration of internal combustion engine performance, with special 75 edition content and further standardization of high demand features. The car looks more purposeful and assertive than ever, with 20 inch wheels standard on all models, and discrete design changes such as the wheel centers and grille badge being changed from red to black, and the R and R dynamic badge accent colors now being black and gray instead of red and green. Super slim LED headlights with calligraphy J signature daytime running lights and sweeping direction indicators accentuate the car's visual width and hint at its performance potential. They blend perfectly into the liquid metal surfacing of the clamshell hood, which sweeps elegantly back, inspired by iconic models such as the C-Type and D-Type. Unique to 75 editions are discrete badges on the front fenders which depict the unmistakable silhouette of the F-Type. The interior also features special badging. The rear haunches enhance the inherently dramatic, purposeful form and sweep downwards to the slender rear LED lights with chicane signature of the F-Type. The clean, sleek lines of the tail are made possible in part by the inclusion of an active rear spoiler that deploys speeds to reduce aerodynamic lift. 
The spoiler rises when the car reaches 60 miles an hour and then lowers to fit flush when the speed drops below 40 miles per hour. Further discrete aerodynamic aids include a front splitter and a sculpted rear valence. Quad outboard exhaust featuring subtle etched R badging on the R75 emerges from the rear diffuser. The 2024 F-Type Coupe and Convertible are available in three models. R Dynamic Rear Wheel Drive, 75 All Wheel Drive, and R75 All Wheel Drive. Base pricing for the convertible in particular is $79,900, $91,900, and $115,000 respectively. The coupe's starting price is $2,000 less for each respective model. The entry model, along with being offered in rear-wheel drive, gains the addition of R-dynamic design elements, such as unique interior and exterior touches and carefully curated specifications. This R75 is equipped with a few optional extras, including full extended leather, metallic paint, Nubuck edged carpet mats, and tan Windsor leather performance seats. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination and delivery, is $119,875. The F-Type is offered in nine exterior colors. Fuji White is the only no-cost option. This example is finished in Giola Green, which is a $950 option. The convertible top comes in black as standard. For further personalization, you can opt for either a beige top or a red top, both of which are $1,000 options. The top folds in in just 12 seconds at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. An exterior black design pack comes standard on the R75, which includes blacked out badging, fender vents, grille surround, and rollover protection bars. If you wanted traditional bright work on the aforementioned parts, it'll be an additional $1,100. As part of the curated, simplified customer offer, every F-Type in the range is offered with a model-specific 20-inch wheel as standard with the F-Type 75 and R75 distinguished by their gloss black 5-spoke and gloss black diamond-turned 10-spoke designs, respectively. The R75 is also available with three other wheel options, including forged wheels. These 20-inch 10-spoke wheels, like I said, are standard. The other three options also come in 20-inch diameters, but feature different spoke designs and finishes including all black and satin gray finishes. Prices for the optional wheels range between $1,000 and $2,100. As befits its position in the performance flagship of the F-Type range, the R75 features wider, specifically developed Pirelli P0 tires, 26535 in front and 30530 in the rear, to provide exceptional levels of grip. The R75 also features beefy brakes, consisting of four-wheel internally ventilated discs that span 15 inches in the front and 14.8 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by twin-piston and single-piston calipers, respectively. ABS is, of course, standard, along with electronic brake force distribution and emergency brake assist. To keep the brakes cooled, air is channeled via intakes flanking the grill and by the use of aerodynamically shaped suspension components to direct air beneath the car. With this setup, it's able to stop from 60 miles an hour in just over 110 feet. Red finished brake calipers are standard. If you prefer a more subtle look, black brake calipers can be had for an additional $550. The F-Type continues to set the benchmark for truly involving, engaging, driver-focused premium sports cars. Double wishbone front and rear suspensions, meticulously tuned electronic power-assisted steering, and torque vectoring by braking deliver outstanding agility and a truly connected feel. These attributes are fundamental to the car's immediate and intuitive responses to every driver input. The on-center steering ratio is 14 to 1, and it varies off-center for improved response. 
It's extremely responsive and offers a great feel. It only takes about 2.2 turns to go from lock to lock, and the turning circle is 37 feet. Short front and rear overhangs help in concentrating most of the car's mass within the wheelbase, reducing the moment of inertia and making the car much more immediate to turn in. The chassis of the 75 editions is further enhanced by rear knuckles made from light, stiff aluminum die castings, which, together with larger wheel bearings, deliver absolute precision control on the tire contact patch, translating to an even more connected steering feel. For the R75, this key attribute is further optimized thanks to revised upper ball joints to significantly increase camber and toe stiffness. Both models also feature a rear electronic active differential for superior traction. The F-Type's available torque-on-demand all-wheel drive system with intelligent driveline dynamics technology enhances traction and control on various surfaces and in just about any weather, while maintaining a characteristic rear-wheel drive feel and handling balance. All V8 models are equipped with Jaguar's advanced dynamic system with configurable dynamics. Using electronically controlled and continuously variable dampers, Adaptive Dynamics optimizes both low-speed comfort and high-speed control, while Configurable Dynamics enables the driver to tailor the settings for suspension stiffness, steering weight, throttle response, and gear shifts. There's a toggle switch to the left of the gear lever in the center console that allows you to easily shift between normal, dynamic, and rain, ice, snow modes. When a mode is selected, you'll get a visual confirmation on the instrument cluster. Within the infotainment system, you can further personalize dynamic mode to your liking. For example, if you want snappier throttle response, stiffer steering, and the most responsive shift strategy but a softer suspension feel, it's just a matter of toggling things on or off in the My Setup menu. Other cool performance focused menus include a stopwatch where you can record lap times, a g-force meter, and an accelerator and brake pedal position meter. The F-Type's standard 5 liter supercharged V8 has been developed to offer exploitable, usable, and rewarding performance. In the R-Dynamic and 75 edition, it develops 444 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 428 pound-feet of torque between 2,500 and 5,000 RPM. The 75 edition comes standard with all-wheel drive and intelligent driveline dynamics, while the R-Dynamic is rear-wheel drive. Both feature an electronic active rear differential to optimize traction and both are claimed to hit 60 miles an hour in just 4.4 seconds and reach a maximum top speed of 177 miles per hour. On the other end, the F-Type R75 offers truly exceptional performance on various surfaces and in just about any weather. Offered exclusively with all-wheel drive, its supercharged V8 delivers 575 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 516 pound-feet of torque between 3,500 and 5,000 RPM. With all of the extra power on tap, 0 to 60 miles per hour takes just 3.5 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 186 miles per hour. The V8 is built using an aluminum block with aluminum heads and stiffened across bolted main bearing caps for increased rigidity and refinement. It combines a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio with direct fuel injection, chain driven double overhead camshafts, 4 valves per cylinder and dual independent variable cam timing. The Eaton Twin Vortex Supercharger is mounted in the engine's valley. Twin water-cooled intercoolers reduce the temperature of the intake air to optimize power and delivery. Each version of the V8 is matched to a switchable active exhaust system as standard. The distinctive crackle and pop on the overrun remains, with sound meticulously tuned to suit the distinctive character of each model. The exhaust also features a quiet start function, which ensures a more subtle, more refined startup sound. 
Electrically actuated bypass valves in the rear muffler remain closed until they automatically open up under load, releasing the signature roar which has always been a fundamental feature of the F-Type. If desired, quiet start can be overridden by selecting dynamic mode or by pressing the switchable exhaust button before starting the engine. When it comes to fuel economy, the F-Type R75 is EPA rated between 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway. During my week of driving, I averaged around 18 miles per gallon. Premium fuel is required and the total tank capacity is 18.5 gallons. A fuel saving auto start stop system is standard. It can be deactivated by a button in the center console if you wish. The F-Type is fitted with a specially tuned ZF 8HP 70 8 speed automatic transmission. The operating parameters of the transmission are determined by an adaptive shift strategy that takes into consideration driving style, vehicle systems, and road conditions. It can detect the manner in which the car is being driven by monitoring acceleration and braking, cornering forces, throttle and brake pedal activity, road load, kick down request, and even whether the car is being driven up or down a hill. On detecting a more spirited driving style, the transmission will automatically make the shifts more aggressive and move the shift points higher. Like the R Dynamic and 75 models, the R75 features an active electronically controlled differential to maximize traction and offer even greater control. This is especially important with having all of the extra power. Inside the differential, an electric motor acts on a multi-plate clutch to transfer torque to the wheel with the most grip. Fully automatic in operation, the system can apply full locking torque almost instantaneously. Working in conjunction with the stability, traction, and ABS systems, it allows for very fine control of power delivery and always makes the most use of available grip. In order to maintain the car's balance during a downshift, the transmission will instruct the engine management system to automatically blip the throttle to match the engine revs. This function also allows the transmission to perform multiple and very rapid downshifts during hard braking. Corner recognition senses when the F-Type is negotiating a curve so that the transmission will hold its ratio to ensure the correct gear remains in place for exiting the curve. The transmission will also recognize when the car is performing a series of overtaking maneuvers, requiring rapid changes in throttle position. Rather than upshift, the transmission will hold a lower gear to remain ready for the next demand for acceleration. Manual override of the transmission is available to the driver at any time, using either the steering wheel mounted paddles or the console mounted selector. Moving the shift selector to the left gate accesses manual mode, in which you just pull the lever rearward for an upshift and push it forward for a downshift. If dynamic mode is also selected on the Jaguar drive controller, the transmission will not automatically shift up at the engine's red line and will only downshift to prevent engine stalling, leaving control fully in the hands of the driver.
The F-Type's asymmetric cabin layout reflects a sharp focus on the driver. The aim was to create an enveloping cockpit for the driver with all of the controls placed naturally and logically grouped, allowing maximum attention on the driving experience. A grab handle sweeps down the center console on the passenger side, delineating it from the driver's position and wrapping around the center console. Different finishes in the driver and passenger areas are used, including a different grain on top of the instrument panel and center console than what's found on the passenger side. Jaguar's craftsmanship, exquisite details, and rich materials and finishes deliver a heightened sense of luxury and sportiness. The 12.3-inch reconfigurable interactive driver display offers a choice of display themes. The default mode is characterized by a large central rev counter. You can also pull up a full map display. The display and gear shift light subtly convey the car's character and performance potential, digitally enhancing the mechanical theater of the pulsing red heartbeat of the starter button and the deployable center air vents. The 75 editions are distinguished by a unique silhouette motif on the engine spin center console finisher and stainless steel tread plates, while a standard interior black pack is another subtle enhancement. It includes a blacked out vent surrounds, door handles, door seat switch plates, and binnacle finisher. Lightweight, slimline, 12 way power adjustable seats in sport or performance designs, with the latter standard on the 75 editions, combine an ergonomically optimized form with outstanding comfort, further enhanced by standard heating and cooling. They also offer adjustable lumbar and side support. Rich materials such as Windsor leather, standard on the 75 editions, adds a further touch of luxury, complemented by details including a crafted monogram stitch pattern that's repeated in the door trim with the extended leather upgrade option, and Jaguar leaper or R motifs on the headrests. Switches are finished in soft feel matte black with white markings for maximum legibility and the highlight accents are deliberately understated satin chrome and dark aluminum. An ebony suede cloth headliner, also standard on the 75 editions, further enriches the interior. With the performance seats, you have five color themes to choose from. Ebony Windsor leather with light oyster stitching is standard. The rest of the color themes require you to get the extended leather upgrade and Nubuck edged carpet mats, which total $2,650. The other color themes include ebony with matching stitching, two-tone light oyster and ebony, as well as monotone Mars red and tan, with accent stitching of course. The seatbelt guides are finished with discreet Jaguar established 1935 markings which are proudly repeated on the glove box release button surround. This subtle reference signifies the year the Jaguar name was first used by company founder Sir William Lyons. The standard audio system for all F-types is a premium Meridian 10-speaker system that includes a 10-channel Class D amplifier with digital sound processing and 380 watts of power. The in-control Touch Pro infotainment system's 10-inch touchscreen is responsive and easy to use. It also features an anti-glare display. It incorporates a lot of features, but it doesn't take long to get used to. The home screen has several menus that clearly lays out all of the primary features of the system. There's even a customizable home screen that you can tailor to your liking with most used features and apps. Beneath the screen are three tactile rotary controllers to operate the climate control system in heated and cooled seats, offering the perfect balance of analog and digital driver controls. If you push inward on the outer dials, you're able to use them to dial in the seat climate to your liking. Additional climate controls can be found in the lower center stack via the toggle bank. Some functions can even be accessed through the central screen. In addition, the F-Type features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, but it's not wireless, as well as satellite radio, Bluetooth hands-free phone and audio streaming, integrated navigation, a valet mode, and more. 
not to mention software over the air functionality, so future software updates can be made at your convenience without having to visit a retailer. In addition to standard LED cabin lighting, standard premium cabin lighting on the 75 editions allow you to change the F-Type's standard phosphor blue ambient accents to pale blue, white, coral, or red using the central screen. Additionally, activating dynamic mode will switch the interior lighting to a dramatic red on the door and center console grab handles as well as within the instrument cluster. Storage space is surprisingly plentiful for a smaller sports car. Across the center console, there's a lid that conceals two cup holders. Behind it is a padded armrest with a cubby beneath that houses a 12 volt power outlet, two USB ports, and a micro SD card slot. The glove box offers pretty decent space for the owner's manual and some other small items. You also have lower door pockets and a storage net between the seats. As far as safety, the F-Type is packed with driver assistance technology as well as six airbags. The tech includes blind spot assist, cruise control with an integrated speed limiter, a driver condition monitor, emergency braking assist, front and rear parking sensors, lane keep assist, a rear view camera with dynamic guidance lines, a rear traffic monitor, tire pressure monitoring system, traffic sign recognition with an adaptive speed limiter, and more. Most of the safety features can be accessed by using the controls on the steering wheel. There's a specific menu within the digital instrument cluster. With the convertible, you have safety roll bars behind each seat. In between the roll bars is a mesh wind filter to reduce buffeting within the interior when you have the top down at higher speeds. The F-Type convertible offers a modest amount of trunk space. If you're creative, you can still carry a surprising amount of stuff, but it's how it's laid out that can make overall utility challenging. While you're not buying something like this for its practicality, the F-Type convertible offers 7.3 cubic feet of trunk space. It's a wide opening with a recessed portion in the middle so you can carry something taller such as a small roller suitcase. If you don't care anything about the convertible, the F-Type Coupe's hatchback layout offers nearly double the trunk space at 14.4 cubic feet. Due to the space constraints, a spare tire is not included. Instead, there's a tire inflator and repair kit. The windshield washer fluid reservoir is also located on the rearmost lip for easier access. The car's battery is also located in the trunk. The brushed aluminum Jaguar plate at the leading edge is a nice touch. Plenty of LED lighting makes it really easy to see inside the trunk at night. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.